SCP-3998 is the Wicker Witch. Now, even Wicker like twigs, <laughs> like they make baskets out of it. I don't know why it'd be so scary to have a witch made out of it. We're going to find out today from Dr. Bob. Make sure to head to his channel and subscribe, guys, and let's get into this reaction. Candace Hayes, we have thy confession. Washington? A witch as brazen as you oh, just shall be burned me. at the stake. Oh, like Salem. The crowd Salem. gathered in the small room bursts into a cheer uh, as the judge hands down the sentence. Okay. The accused woman doesn't she's react a straight though. up witch. She looks neither or scared nor afraid, but simply resigned to right. her fate. No time okay. is to be wasted in carrying so out the punishment that the judge died. has decreed. A pair of constables indeed. grab the woman by the arms and take her away. Right. A mob follows along as yep. the woman is led through the town, burn her, taunting burn and the jeering, witch. calling her a witch, a wife of Satan, and worse yeah, names. Watched, uh, she doesn't Monty seem Pythons. affected by them, though. Hilarious, In fact, man. she looks as if she can't even see them. Huh. Her attention is focused solely on one mysterious woman who oh. walks along with the crowd, and yet somehow seems disconnected, as if she isn't truly there either. Okay. The two women maintain eye contact as the constables keep is pushing the condemned the, uh, woman the along. Lady... They lead the woman outside uh, of town sh to a tall hill. The okay. ropes binding the woman's hands are cut, and she right. has just a moment to rub her sore wrists before she is forced to the ground and lashed yep. to a piece of wood as they another group tosses the, the last logs onto a nearby pile. Once she is securely tied down, the constables step away. Uh -huh. But then another man wearing a hood approaches. The executioner. She carries a large club and without hesitation begins beating her legs. God! The woman's composure finally breaks and I she guess cries so. in pain from the cracking of her bones. Can you imagine? The crowd only cheers louder at the screams from the witch. How evil, The beating has bro. left the woman's legs mangled, oh, but this is far from over. God. The woman, still strapped to the wood, yeah. is placed on the pyre. Where she hangs like a scarecrow above the combustible Can material. You believe that's so the judge cool steps forward horrible. out of the screaming mob, carrying a torch. He loudly exclaims that for her crimes, right. she will be burned until dead. Oh, but the judge doesn't right. step forward. He instead announces that another will have the honor of lighting the flame. Okay. Another man steps out of the crowd and takes the torch from the judge. He walks towards the pyre and looks up at the woman. Is this She's some exhausted sort of from the beating. Reward? She her head. Here, you she doesn't look the at the witch. man with the torch, though. She's okay. looking past him, right. locking eyes with the mysterious woman who walked along so with the crowd. So how are these two connected? The man looks angry, slighted that she won't even meet his eyes in this final moment. Right. And without another moment's hesitation, he tosses the torch onto the pyre. The wood lights instantly, burns. the tinder combusting and turning into a huge roaring fire. The crowd oh, also erupts into even louder she cries might not of celebration even be guilty, as the woman screams from she inside the blaze. She horribly, though. The man watches as the woman is lost behind the fire and the smoke. All right. And is that a face, though? Her cries, too, are hidden behind the crackles and pops of yeah. the flames. He doesn't move until the fire has nearly burned itself Dang. out. Most of the crowd has left at this point, right. having gone back to their homes, content with the role they played in doing the Lord's What's work. What's this dude's issue? As the constables pull a charred torso down from the wood and God. unceremoniously toss it over a steep side of the hill, right. the man finally turns and starts to walk away, okay. a tear rolling down his cheek. Why the is judge he sad approaches now? and places a hand on the man's shoulder. Was that his wife? There, son? there, the judge says, attempting to comfort the man. You'll find a new wife soon enough. Wow! Hundreds of people were so accused, accused of witchcraft in colonial America. His and while wife. it is likely that many were falsely accused, right. there is reason to believe that some were under the influence of, or were themselves, what we now describe as anomalies. Oh, and SCP-3998 is just anomaly. such an example. Better known as the Wicker Witch Lives. All right, now this is getting really SCP -3998 interesting. SCP-3998 is a human cadaver which dates from the late 17th century that is covered in fourth degree so burns is and is cadaver. missing its legs. Okay. There is also evidence of extensive blunt force trauma, but it is sure. not known if the beating or the burning was the ultimate cause of death. Right. At some point, the remains were collected and fastened into a scarecrow that is held together with wicker, nails, and wire. Uh, While a scarecrow fashioned from a cadaver is rather unconventional, yeah. what brought SCP-3998 to the SCP Foundation's attention were its other anomalous attributes. Okay, tell us it about constantly it, secretes a flammable liquid from its bones that primarily flammable. consists of ethanol and human fat, mm. and every night between 11 p.m. It and 4 a.m., the corpse ignites. This Weird. fire doesn't cause any damage to the corpse, though, okay. and it is unknown how it produces the flammable liquid or ignites. Hey, 3998 does not keep its flames to itself, though. 
It appears that the SCP targets those who have either killed or physically abused a romantic partner, causing them to catch fire as large quantities of boiling ethanol appear in their stomach. Wow. Their midsection will eventually melt and then explode, what? leading to amputation <laughs> of the lower half of their body. Holy The fire crap. burns both incredibly hot and unnaturally yeah, fast kind of like and is unable set. to be put out until SCP-3998 is extinguished. Dang. A number of historical documents related to the case have been discovered and made available to Foundation researchers that shed light on SCP-3998, right. including excerpts from a 17th century diary belonging to a woman who lived near where the cadaver was discovered. Okay. In the entries, the woman describes attending the wedding of her neighbors, Aidan and Candace Hayes, Though Candace did not seem especially Weird. happy with the arrangement. Candace uh -huh, is characterized as someone marriage. who likes to keep to herself yeah. and who does not conform and to the era's idea eye. of a good wife. Uh -oh. As a result, it appears that so she became the victim her. of abuse at the hand of her husband. Yeah. The diarist hypothesizes that Candace has brought this fate upon herself due to her behavior, That's which may stem shame, from her being dude. under the hold of the devil. In other words, the neighbor believes that Candace right. is a witch. Naturally. Others must have had because the same she's suspicion, not because we also have records of Candace's interview with a Judge William Stoughton, dudes. who questioned her about <laughs> the accusations of consorting with evil spirits. Candace readily admitted to this, though she disagreed that it was in any way evil. She told mm. the judge that the rituals and magics she practiced were not inherently good or bad, and that anyone was capable of using the so same tool. So she was medically she trained? to explain that she or hated she her husband, that she had been forced to marry him, and that he had been nothing but cruel and violent uh -huh. towards her. Candace also mentioned a name, Clovis, that the judge assumed to be the demon that she had made her cursed pact with. Oh. Candace appeared to offer no defense or mm. excuses for her actions. Maybe it was the, and the other judge lady, though. Sentenced her to die by burning at the stake, with That's her husband, sad, Aiden, man. being the one to light the fire. Such the story of this witch trial guy. was typical of the time, and that likely right. would have been the end of what we know about SCP 3998. Mm. But another historical document was located that has truly okay. given a new perspective to this anomaly. A sealed letter found in the cellar of a home that is addressed to Candace, though it appears to have been written uh, after her death. The letter is from her secret lover and describes uh -huh. how they collected Candace's burnt bones from the bottom of the hill before binding them together with wicker and wire. The lady? The letter then describes how Candace's husband has recently I restocked see. his own home with gin, uh -huh. which is well known to be extremely flammable. The letter ends with an affirmation of the writer's eternal love for Candace mm. and is signed Clovis. But perhaps the I best see. information we have about the origin of SCP-3998 comes from an obscure local tale that was passed down orally for an years and eventually documented on an urban legend website. Right. The legend tells of a woman who promised her soul to a she-devil who taught her magic but also mm. offered companionship. When her husband found out, he contacted the local authorities and had the woman arrested. You know, she was tried, her legs were broken, and she was hung up like a scarecrow. You emotionally hurt like alive. that? Her body was Kids dumped off the side friends. of a mountain, but the you she know? devil collected her bones and gave her trapped. life again. You gotta do something to stay the sane. The need for revenge burned in the woman's heart, so in the middle this of the night, she doused herself in her husband's gin, right. set herself on fire once more, and fell upon him as he slept burning him alive wow. so he could suffer the way that she You know did. what? Good for him, bro. SCP-3998 <laughs> is currently held in a secure holding locker in Site-34 okay. that is fireproofed and vacuum sealed to prevent it from igniting. Of course. Every morning at 9 a.m., 3998 and its locker are cleaned to remove so the like secretions of, of flammable liquid. D-class personnel mm -hmm. who have been convicted of domestic abuse crimes are to uh, always be kept at the site to ensure that they are the targets of SCP-3998, right. which when it's not allowed to ignite, will result in them only feeling mild discomfort in their head and chest uh -huh. rather than spontaneous <laughs> combustion. So if you get indigestion, Due to its relatively quit hitting easy your method wife. of containment, <laughs> SCP-3998 has been classified as safe. Right. However, recent developments safe. have caused the Foundation to rethink this classification. Despite 3998 being securely contained, the number of arson-related yeah. homicides in the state of Massachusetts have actually increased following uh, containment, with many showing the same damage to their body as would be expected in a victim of SCP-3998. So and while it may contained? be that these are the result of a yet uncaught serial killer who simply happens to employ similar methods of killing their victims, Maybe. a recent re-examination of the SCP-3998 corpse has revealed more troubling details. Okay. The body of SCP-3998 does not belong to Candace Hayes, oh. and in fact appears to be a male who was in his 30s at the time of his death. Oh. 
Following these new revelations, reclassification uh, of SCP-3998 to Euclid pull. is pending. Yeah. Whether SCP-3998 is the body of Candace's husband, Aiden, forced oh, to endure an eternal punishment of burning maybe. again each and every night, or if it's some other unfortunate victim of a violent and painful death, Could is be. unknown. As is the ultimate fate of Candace and Clovis. But with the deaths that would appear to be attributable <laughs> to SCP-3998 cool, showing no signs of stopping despite containment, it can only be assumed that the Wicker Witch lives. Yep, it's true. Very, very cool. I gotta say though, man, domestic violence is not cool at all. We see evidence of it all the time in all kind of news reports. You gotta just be kind, especially to the people that you love, man. To the people that you don't love so much, just ignore them. Get them out of your life. There ain't no sense in violence, man. Y'all be good. Love each other. I love y'all too. Dr. Bob, y'all make sure to give him some love as well as these videos that are reacted to from Dr. Bob as well. Thanks so much for watching. As always, this is Ujin signing off. We'll see you next time. Break it down.